Brothers and sisters, welcome to this Texas Garden channel. Please, if you find any information in this video useful or interesting, please give us a like or subscribe to the channel. So now I want to show you um, how we are going to root um, some strawberry runners. We got uh, our first strawberries this year coming from this plant, which we're very happy for it. But for this little project, we're going to need um, a little pot with your uh, preferred soil, potting soil, some organic fertilizer. You're going to need a paper clip or a few depending on how many runners you have available. But for the sake of this video, we're going to use uh, one paper clip for one runner. So you get your pliers and you cut that paper clip in half. Uh, you're going to end up pretty much with a hook, just like that. I'll put them on the side and now yeah um thankfully the stems the, the the stems of the runners are very flexible they don't break easily they are very flexible so you pretty much uh, you can handle it uh in various ways and they are there and they don't break now for that i make a little hole in the little pot i'm gonna put some organic fertilizer in it it's very important that you put organic fertilizer, not synthetic fertilizer. It's gonna be organic. You fill it up. You fill it up with soil, with your potting soil. And then you take your runner and you take that hook that you make with a paper clip and you push it uh, and, and you push the, the, the runner plant against the soil. And that's pretty much it. It's very easy. But one little detail though. Uh, you gotta make sure uh, that the soil is even, completely even, to the runner. To the runner, that runner cannot be underneath, uh, lower uh, at a lower level of the soil that you have in the little pot. They gotta be all even, because uh, let's say uh, you water, you water the runner and you move any soil, and that soil covers the runner. The roar, uh, the runner is not gonna make it. If it gets buried, it's gonna die. So it's very important that you keep it on the surface. So you put the runner on the soil, you take some soil out, you make sure it's even, and and if you do that, the runner is gonna root out very, very easily. Now you water it, take a closer look, gotta make sure that it's a very well dra draining soil that you have. It's very important that your, your little pot has holes in the bottom so all the run all, all the water runs out and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it your runner is set up but uh it needs one more thing and for that it's uh, you're gonna need a very sunny spot uh, strawberries they love sunlight so you gotta give it uh, from six to eight ten hours of sunlight the more the better and you gotta give it enough room so we're using this big pot for ev for pretty much every single strawberry plant for better production. Strawberries need some room, just like people, right? Now I'm gonna take you to these strawberry plants um, that have some runners, and we have some runners already established. Let me show you. All right, you gotta move things around. Mo's right there saying hi. She's always uh, next to me. I love my dog. Anyways, so I'm going to show you right there that we have some runners already established. We did the same in this pot to what we did in the in the in the last one that we just showed you. So so but it's still connected to the motor plant through that through that stem. As you could see, it has some uh, roots coming out of the little pot already. So that you have some roots coming out. So that means it's ready. So now we can cut it. We can cut it. Uh, uh, once you uh, once you are sure that you have roots out of those uh, runners, is uh, you are ready to cut the stem. Now uh, that's pretty much it. That's it, guys. And pretty much this is what you get if you buy little strawberry plants from your uh, from your big box store, and you just save yourself some money. Here, uh, here in Houston, every every uh, every little strawberry plant costs like from five to seven dollars, which is ridiculous. And um, 
and sometimes the liberal daughter plant produces even more runners so if you do this time after, after time after time again you're gonna have an endless supply of new strawberry plants to have available you can do it all over and over again the more the better there you, there you go guys there you have it if you find any information useful please give us a like or subscribe